equilibrium. It refers to the condition of the system where neither of its state of motion nor its internal energy state changes with the time. And for one single particle, the equilibrium arises when the vector sum of all the forces acting upon the particle results as zero. Concurrent forces. If the force applied to a body are such that their line of the action meet at a single point, then they are called concurrent forces. Example, an object is in the equilibrium under the four concurrent forces in the direction shown in the figure. Lamis theorem. It relates the magnitude of the coplanar, concurrent and the non-collinear forces that maintain an object in the static equilibrium. Lamis theorem states that when the three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then each force is proportional to the sine of the angle between the other two forces. Now consider three forces A, B, C acting on a particle or rigid body making an angle alpha, beta and gamma with each other. In mathematical or equation form, Lamis theorem can be expressed as A by sine alpha equals B by sine beta equals C by sine gamma. Lamis theorem derivation. Consider three forces A, B, C acting on a particle and making angle alpha, beta, gamma with each other. As per the statement of the theorem, we take the sum of all the forces acting at a given point as zero. On shifting the forces, we can convert it in a triangle. Now applying the sine rule in the triangle, we get A by sin 180 minus alpha equals B by sin 180 minus beta equals C by sin 180 minus gamma. So we have A by sin alpha equals B by sin beta equals C by sin gamma. Example, an iron block of mass mkg is hanging from the two support A and B as shown in the diagram. Determine the tensions in both the ropes. First, let's draw a free body diagram for the given condition. To apply the Lamis theorem, first check the three conditions. That is, if the three forces are concurrent, coplanar and non-collinear. Now applying the Lamis theorem, we get T1 upon sine 120 equals T2 by sine 150 equals Mg by sine 90. Therefore, T1 by sine 120 equals Mg by sine 90. T1 equals Mg into sine 120. That is T1 equals root 3 by 2 Mg. Now finding T2, T2 by sine 150 equals Mg by sine 90. T2 equals Mg sine 150. That is T2 equals Mg by 2. Hi guys, this is Yash. If you like this video, तो लाइक कर देना कमेंट कर देना एंड अपने दोस्तों में शेयर कर देना सी यू गाइस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय